In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this 3D Instagram effect using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Joel here and as you can see, this is the final output. Actually, I'm going to show you two different versions. One you can see right now where a subject is going from one post to the another one. And the second one is where just uh, at the bottom single post effect. So whatever you like to create. Now, obviously, before we start this effect, you have to take screenshot of your Instagram page uh, using your mobile phone. Uh, it should look like, let, let me give you an example. I'm going to go to file, open and select the screenshot. So here's the one and open it. Now your goal should be to take a screenshot in a way that you have to post in a single page. So as you can see, there's a little bit of this post and a little bit of this post. The main portion that we will use is at the middle. So make sure that it looks something like this. Okay, so now you have your screenshot into the Photoshop. What to do next? First of all, we don't need this uh, top portion. You can straight up delete it. So double click on your background, hit OK. After that, get your marquee tool from here and make a selection. Now at first, it will be quite difficult to get the exact selection, right? So what you can do is make sure that the marquee tool is still selected, then right click and you have to click on transform selection. So transform options will come up. Now you can zoom in and put your selection exactly where you need. So I'll, I'll say try to be as precise as possible. So, okay, that looks nice. Then you can hit enter to confirm it and then delete because we don't need it. Uh, then go to select and deselect. Now another problem, we cannot upload a photo this long on Instagram. Of course we have to crop it. So instead of doing it in Instagram, we're gonna do it here. So we know how it will look like. So go and grab your crop tool and here you have ratios. So in the ratio, go and click on four by five. Uh, and this is the longest photo you can upload on Insta, hands down. So I'm gonna go and confirm it. But before you do that, extremely important make sure that your delete crop pixel option is off otherwise photoshop will delete this rest of the photo and we don't want that so make sure it is off then go and confirm it uh, and the setup is ready now we can add in the model uh, for that you can go to file and select place embedded and you can select any model that you want to put in so let's start with this uh, one the model where it's sitting and place it and confirm it now we need to remove the background and you can do it any way you like but for this one i highly recommend using pen tool because it's really complicated background Okay, we are done with the pen tool and to turn it into selection, all you have to do is press command enter and it will turn it into a selection and then you can apply a layer mask. So go and click on this third icon and the model is out from the background. If you're a beginner, I recommend don't use this type of images because it will be difficult to cut out uh, rather than use something with simple background that you can easily select. Now for this one, I want model to be at the bottom. So I'm going to activate my layer zero, get my move tool and put it down. And when you do it, hold your shift key. So it doesn't go to the left or right. And you can put it uh, exactly here like this. And to the model, I'm going to go and place her a little bit here. And here's a tip you can, once you have selected your marquee tool, use your arrow keys to bring her down or up wherever. <laughs> and zoom in so you can see that uh, she is aligned properly. Of course, it's not gonna be perfect, but try to do your best. And that looks decent. The model is a little bit bigger than I want. So I'm gonna press Command T uh, and make her a bit smaller. Now let's add the background photo, go to file, place embedded and select any photo that you wanna use, it back, use as background. <laughs> So I'm going to select this sky, place it. And of course it needs to be under everything. So take this sky and put it under your layer zero. And then I'm going to keep it here. You can press command T and make it as big as you like and use the perfect portion. 
background is ready model is ready now the most important part creating the contact shadows to sell this effect otherwise it looks kind of flat like she's floating i don't like that so for that activate your layer zero and create new blank layer now this should be above your layer zero the instagram screenshot and under your model that's it then double click here and i'm gonna rename it to contact shadow and good after that right click here and select create clipping mask now this has th this really nice benefit once you get your brush tool and when you paint it will only stay on the screenshot it won't go outside for example if i release the screenshot uh, sorry isn't clipping mask uh, release clipping mask and it goes outside everywhere we don't want that right so right click and create clipping mask and it will only stay there clear good so we have layer zero we have contact shadow layer and now we can start painting for that zoom in uh, and make your brush smaller use your bracket keys and in the opacity keep it between 15 to 20 percent i think 14 looks also good and then you can start painting like this at first it will be difficult to see but once you do it a couple more times it will be visible so i'm gonna go and keep it here like this So as you can see, uh, this is with shadow and this is without the shadow. It gives a lot more depth. Another cool thing, if you want to make the shadow stronger, you can press command J and it will double the amount. You can again right click and create clipping mask. So it will stay there and it is stronger if you want to make it lighter. So delete this one, of course. And on the original one, you can reduce the opacity. So it is a lot more lighter than you need. But I think this one at 100 looks all right. So this is how you do the effect with single post. Now let's do the double post. So for that, let's delete the old stuff. We don't need this model. We don't need this, this. Oops, we need that one. <laughs> we need we need layer zero, okay? Uh, then let's place the skateboard girl. For that file and place embedded. And where is the skateboarder? Here, and then place her. Now, see, this is a really good photo if you're a beginner because removing background is super easy here. So you can go and right click here, get your magic wand tool and keep the tolerance default 32 and do a click and it will do the selection for you. Then to get this uh, inner parts, make sure you are at the add option here, second one, and then do click here and then do another click here. And you are done with the selection, it's that fast. Then we have selected the background, okay? So then go and apply the layer mask so the it is exactly opposite of what we need so make sure your layer mask is active and then press command i so only model is visible background is gone easy peasy now before we go further you might have a situation like this as you can see it deleted a little bit of the hat and you can bring it back easy uh, get your brush tool uh, and right click make sure hardness is like 6 70 80 percent and opacity is 100 and the color here should be white and you are painting on the mask okay then when you paint you can bring back the hat like this not only that you can also erase so let's say i paint a little bit too much you can go and change to black color and then you can erase whatever you don't like it's convenient as hell so that's done and for this portion just right click on your layer mask and select select and mask and in old version it's a refine ma sorry refine edge so select that and there make sure you have the second option selected the refine brush tool and then make it smaller and paint here like this and it will get rid of the white background not a big deal hit ok the skateboarder is cut out it looks very clean after that activate your layer 0 get your um, marquee tool and then drag it up like this you know what let's make the canvas light gray so you can see the post properly and yeah better so model and background setup is ready now we can add in the shadows uh, for that this one is little bit different method because we don't have any contact shadows it's actually model jumping from one post to the another one so shadow will be in distance uh, so i'm gonna first of all edge the model little bit here where i like 
Okay, better. Now to create the shadow, it's actually pretty easy. Make sure your skateboard layer is active, then press Command J, so you have a duplicate. After that, right click on layer and then select uh, rasterize layer. Then activate the layer mask, right click and apply layer mask. So here's what you have, just model, that's it, okay? Then go to your image adjustment and then here saturation and here in the lightness go and make it minus 100. So you have this silhouette of the model, hit OK. Now shadow is going to be under the model of course. So take this layer and put it under your model and rename it so you don't get confused. After that uh, bring it out like this, wherever you want you can adjust it later, don't worry too much. So again I'm going to use my arrow key. Looking pretty good. After that, just like the last time, right click and create clipping mask. Make sure it's uh, exactly on top of your layer zero, so it will only show up there. Now go and reduce the opacity, so it blends in a little bit better. Uh, looking nice, uh, but the shadow is way too sharp and it doesn't look that natural. So for that, you can directly apply Gaussian blur or you can turn it into a smart object. So let's make it smart object i'm gonna right click and convert to smart object then go to filter blur and gaussian blur uh, and then add a little bit of blur until it looks natural to you so i'm gonna keep it to 5.6 looks okay and let's adjust it again I reduce the opacity a little bit more and now it looks better. The biggest advantage of turning it into a smart object is that now you can double click on your Gaussian blur and change it however you like, uh, more or less whatever you prefer. So 5 pixel, okay, looks nice. And that's it. This is how you can create your 3D Instagram photos. And best thing is that this is nothing like you can be much more creative using this technique and you can also be very subtle uh, for example look at this nothing crazy nothing fancy just a little bit of hand comes out and little bit of head goes out of the frame i just added this white strip to get create that illusion and another thing if you want to check out like how it will look on instagram before uploading kind of easy thing to do uh, look at this uh, I went to my Instagram profile and I took a screenshot of a post that was also 4x5. Like I know because I uploaded it that this is also 4x5 photo. So you take the screenshot, you bring it into the Photoshop, right? Then you go to your this file and you save it as JPG. Then you come back here and then you place it here. You can go to file and place embedded and you can place that file. And then you can check if it looks really nice or not just by putting it on top of it. So look at how this is gonna look. Then uh, here's the same photo but with different background. Uh, and then there's this one. So this way you can check in advance how it will look on Instagram. It was very useful for me as well when I was trying to decide what files to use for uh, this tutorial. And also you can place in any photo and see how it will look on your Instagram feed. Really neat technique. So that's pretty much it and I really hope that you guys learned something from this video. If you did, hit that like button and if you want to check out more videos by me, you can click on any of these boxes and you can also subscribe to my channel. So every time I upload a new video, you will get an update. Till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.